Hello, my love. So it's Kasha Planarista 101. Today is super exciting video because we get to set up my 2023 planner. So lots of them actually. So if you watched my lineup, I use an enormous amount of planners, but I only carry one month each. Each planner is almost like a new section of my life. So I got everything ready. I have my dividers. I have my other dividers. I have all of the labels that I made including my name and we're gonna start off with putting some discs on so I decided to put the teal discs on and I'm going to be using a cover from um, Inkwell Press as well as I added one planner from Inkwell Press to my lineup so here we go I removed the sage and substituted it for Inkwell Press it's one of those things I used to use way back when, and when they came out with disc bound systems, their system was so expensive, but then it got affordable, so I just purchased the inserts and a couple, um, couple of these little covers on sale. Anyway, so this is a tool that Happy Planner used to have when they were doing personalized planners, and it just makes it so much easier to pop your pages in so I start with my covers and then once I have my covers I pop this out and I put pages in because my covers are usually pretty sturdy so that feels stable so I'm gonna start with the first of these dividers so I'm gonna arrange them these dividers are very flexible <clears throat> and they are from the Inkwell Press, as you can see the little, little feather on the bottom. And if this is your first time joining my channel, welcome. I hope you like it here. If you have been here before, welcome back. I hope you guys will have fun with me today. So I have lots of goodies. I don't know if you guys knew, but I do have a Cricut. And um, I made all of my own labels with Cricut or... Or just simply um, sticker paper like these these divider labels are made on sticker like clear sticker paper and I'm just gonna be applying them like so so I measured how big they needed to be and just went with that so I'm gonna pop this in super super flexible like I said I really like it but before I do I have one more thing I need to put on there I think Let's see. Let's see if this will be easier to put in with this on or without that on. Um, so I made a vinyl sticker for myself for all of these dividers as well. I think it will look very cool and I like, I use the same type of planners all the time. as far as the section. So my catch-all and all of that is pretty much the same. So I'm just applying, I know it looks crooked, but it'll look fine once I pull it off. There we go. It's slightly crooked, but that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so we have catch-all. And now I'm gonna put the planner, which is uh, Deep Botanicals. So that's the divider that I chose for my catch-all. I put quotes on all of my dividers. I found images and printed everything that I wanted in my planner. So I am fully, fully setting up to the point where I'm just going to open the planner and start planning in 2023. We're doing like a full, full setup. So bear with me. <clears throat> so again, Deep Botanicals is my catch-all, and I'm just putting my name on top. <clears throat> this is also made out of vinyl. I am missing my little dot above the eye, but I don't even care. It's fine. So, 
So that's my catch-all. This is where all my life goes in. And normally I put my work first, but honestly, even at work, I've been ref like referring back to this. So I think this is my most used planner and I use this every single day, multiple times a day. So hence, this is going first. Okay, so that's catch-all. Next up will be the, let's do work. Cause that'll be my second most used um, planner. And I'm gonna continue using the work plus life balance uh, planner. So it's like that weird binded cover. Anyway, so that's the month. That's the planner that I'm using for work. And we'll see how it goes. So same thing, I'm gonna apply another one of these on the divider. So bear with me, I think you guys will enjoy this once you see the finished work. I know it's a lot, so. Again, I made this super huge, so I enjoy looking at the dividers when I flip and when I used to open them they're like very bare or and then in fall I did make a transition into fall and put pictures behind it but again it wasn't something permanent so this time it is so I'm gonna pop this in and I do have a work quote and I printed black on one side green on the other I don't know why, like the whole planner feels super green this year. There is discs that are minty green and my cover is uh, turquoise and blue and green. So all of these things are kind of coming together. And I will show you a full flip through when we're done of everything. So, so then we're going to go ahead and do my next one, which is my meal planner. And for my meal planner this year, I'm going to be trying something different and it is going to be a vertical planner called Frosted Blooms. And we'll see how it goes. I think it might work out quite well where I'm going to have a lot more room decorating and being able to plan my meals. And I'll be able to put more ingredients, right? So there we go. Okay, so now we have the meal planner which is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I lost my little tool for uh, Cricut for like pressing down. So I'm using a ruler and it seems to work just fine. So again, bear with me. I know it's, it's like a strange thing that I'm doing, but let me know what you guys think about dividers like this. I do love making them. Um, the way I did this time, we'll see how long they last and how they hold up. Hopefully, hopefully, well, we'll see. So, meal planner it is. We're almost done with that one. I am using the hard surface of the planner because my, uh, I have a, my desk is white, but I also use a pad on top of it because, uh, planner stickers, everything sticks. It's easily washable, I can just replace it, so it's padded, so it's soft, so I can't really press on that because it's not going to go anywhere. Um, so that's why I'm using the back of the cover. Uh-oh, my M broke. It's okay. I can fix it, maybe. And if not, I can always print another one. Uh, that's okay. I don't mind having a little divot in there. So let me see if I can smooth it down. Yeah, I think that's fine. I will leave it. And perfect life, right? All of these imperfections. So I do have a wellness um, divider as well. Like I said, we'll go through all of the quotes and everything when I am flipping through at the end and I'll show you. But all of these dividers, I printed, cut them, punched them, and we are ready. So I'm just putting them together so it's easier because it's, it's a lot. Okay, anyway, so next up is 
this which is look how gorgeous this is like this is so pretty but it does have a lot of color which I'm not used to so we'll see how I do with this hopefully well I mean last year I was able to stick to most of my planners for a full year um, so that's super super excited exciting I should say that's very exciting to me that I was able to stick and I think it was less about the planners and the dividers and more about the guts um, and how neutral they were and I was able to do whatever I needed to do next up is my wellness this one does not have an additional divider outside of this because it's still part of my Mio wellness journey so I'm just making a divider this year because last year I did not have it. It was under one divider. I think it will be easier for me to find it if it is on a separate divider. So let's take a look. And again, same thing. Wellness is going to go on top. So there we go. like so and then i'm gonna press it down with the ruler like before yeah that works pretty well this is a big one right a lot of war a lot of letters so we have a couple more planners left so again, um, for my wellness, I'm going to be using the Nature and Nurture. It was an 18-month planner, so I'm going to be just using the January portion of it. Like I said, I only carry one month each. I will put this because I'm not sure. I do a lot of um, future planning on the pages in front of the planner. Um, so I want to see which ones I really need and what I'm going to be tracking as far as the front pages go and then I'll decide what I'm keeping in here and what can go back into the um, original planner. But I don't know if you guys know this but I am putting my name on this year. Last year I had all of these planners that were not named. Oh well. <laughs> right? <clears throat> okay, next up is my journal. So it's still vertical, it's still very neutral, it's still all of those things that it was this year. So we are going to be using the Le Fleur planner. It is absolutely stunning. If you like florals like me and you're floral obsessed, that might be a planner for you. And not only that, but it's neutral florals. So it has a lot of pink, grays, and whites. And it's simply stunning. I did have the planner called um, Sophisticated Florals for journaling this year, which was mostly nude, super, super pretty. So I'm going to be doing very, something very, very similar this year. So Okay, so we're applying journal. I'm gonna press it down like I did with others and then peel it off. And that's done. Okay, so now I can stick. I think this, um, this is upside down, but oh well, it's gonna stay like that because I'm not fixing it. Another imperfection. It's okay to have imperfections in your planner. The most important thing about a planner for me is actually using it. So let's go ahead and move forward with that. So I'm going to go ahead and move this whole thing because it is a 12 month planner. So January is the first month in there, but we shall see what I can do with this. I don't know if I'm going to be using this particular one with anything like anything to do with that front couple pages where you have the perpetual calendar or like the year at a glance, but we shall see. I know that I use my wellness ones for doctor's appointments and stuff like that and then it transfers to my catch-all. 
um, but I also track symptoms in my wellness one. So we shall see what happens. Okay, so so far we have it's it's getting there. It's being filled. I'm so excited. So we have three more planners to go. Okay. Next up is my social and let's go ahead and do that. So for my social, it's going to be a dashboard layout called Ingram Blooms, but I did order the undated dashboard layout as well in case that doesn't work out for me since it is so colorful. I mean, I know that I prefer planners that are very much neutral, but I do love the dividers on that one. And since I create my own page on the left, this might work out, but it might not. So I don't know. We shall see. I do have a backup just in case. So that's my divider for the social. Next up after this one is my budget. So for budget, I do use a monthly. I do use this perpetual calendar for videos and stuff and posts. Um, and now I'm on couple PR groups. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start scheduling stuff in there for those PR groups as well. So super excited. Next up, budget. So for my budget, I'm going back to my original idea of budgeting in a monthly planner called Celestial. So again, it is super, super lovely. It's, um, it's a monthly layout. So I'll show you at the end what the layout looks like more or less, but it is super lovely and very neutral. And if you wanted to redate that one, that's probably the best one to redate because it, you only do monthly and you're pretty much set. Like you redate the month and um, you slap a couple month stickers on it and you are done. Okay, let's place the budget. Okay, do you guys see how much confident I am in this now like compared to when we started and I was like, this straight is that I just like slapped them on, on and now and it is what it is. I don't know. I'm getting my confidence, you guys. Okay, so budget. I do have a couple budget quotes and then I have this planner, which is beautiful. So I'm grabbing the month, popping it in here. I'm gonna name it. Okay, and I'm gonna pop in the divider. Next up is my home planner. And what I mean by that is anything that needs to be done in the house or any home projects or anything like that will go in my catch-all, but more details will go in here, like contact info and the person who repaired it and like all of that stuff will go in here. So, Hopefully this works out for us quite well. I ran out of room. To do this um, last year. So this is the Inkwell Press Planner. If you watch my lineup. Um, no, I actually did an unboxing of the Inkwell Press. What I bought and a flip through. So you can go ahead and see what's in there. But... Yeah, my planner is practically set, so this is my catch-all, and I'm going to be gluing these together. So the catch-all quote I picked says, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning how to dance in the rain. 
and I've had this quote in my planner before. It's the one I really, really love. It's by uh, Vivian Greeny. It's super lovely. It reminds me every single day that we need to come up, come over our obstacles. Next one is my work planner for work. I chose two quotes for there. It says, make each day your masterpiece. And then the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking, don't settle. This one is by Steve Jobs. I really like it. My meal planner and wellness say it's create healthy habits, not restrictions. So when we are eating healthy, we can't think about the fact that it's a restriction. You have to think about as... A good choice or something similar like that for my journal I put journal journal writing when it becomes a ritual for transformation it's not only life changing but life expanding and it's so true when you journal every day and you practice gratitude and you choose to see the positive in life or even write down the negatives and just get it out of your system your life changes pretty dramatically. So then the next one is social. For social, I picked when you have a dream, you get to grab it and never let it go. So obviously, social media planning is a hobby for me. So kind of like my daydream, and that's what I chose. And then for budget, I have three quotes with this lovely, lovely girl. And it says, a budget doesn't limit your freedom. It gives you freedom. The second one says the slightest adjustments to your daily routines can dramatically alter the outcomes in your life. And then the third one says becoming rich is hard. Staying broke is hard. Choose your hard. Isn't that true? And then the last one, which is my home, says a house is made of walls and beams. A home is built with love and dreams. So those are all of my quotes and that's how my setup looks. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I know it's a long video. So those are all of my all of my planners and we are ready to go for January. So technically I can take this planner on January 1st or 2nd and go and start planning. I'm going to be adding some extra pages to the back for myself mostly for having um, some daily pages if I needed them and some regular pages. So Live Love, uh, not Live Love, oh my God. Inkwell Press comes with some extra pages in general. So I'm gonna add those. So there's extra pages behind the planner. I'm gonna add those in case I ever wanna use them. And then I'm going to add extra pages, just like note pages that are that grid from Inkwell Press, which is awesome. And then I am adding these top five. So this is like a weekly kickstart. It gives you all the days of the week. Your top five, your priorities. So it's chunky. Okay, so let's do a full flip through of what this looks like. So we have catch all. And this lovely girl, I really, really like it with my quote, green on the other side. This is um, the botanicals. And again, perpetual calendar, I do use this one for sure. My currently page, monthly and weeklies look like this. So super, super neutral. That's why I picked it. Work. So again, quotes with the girl. You can see her kind of worrying. Because work is always brutal. Well, not always, but a lot of times. This is monthly. It has this uh, extra page in there for to-dos and stuff. And this is the weekly. For my meal planner, it is going to be the Frosted Blooms, the new planner. And again, that's the perpetual calendar. I don't know if I'm going to be using this or not. We shall see. It's already decorated, so that might help. And this is the weeklies. So that's going to be my meal planner. Wellness is uh, nature and nurture. And the dividers certainly do reflect that. So 
again the perpetual calendar i do put my wellness and symptoms in there so i keep that in and then this is the weeklies which is very very neutral my journal the fleur yes it is Le fleur it's gorgeous it's beautiful but this is what i meant when i said the dividers are very like chic and posh and um neutral and then so for social media it is ingrid blooms and we shall see how i adapt to this because i normally don't do color in my planner so we shall see i mean i do color when i decorate it but I don't do color otherwise so we shall see how I progress with this and then for budget my lovely lovely monthly um, planner I hope they continue making this because I love my monthlies like no joke so this is where I put all the bills to and this is where I put all the bills to because I look at both and then this is my um, spending every single day and then on the back I do a budget review in here so that's kind of where it is and my home is inkwell press so it's such a like the paper quality is so great so you have a lot of things it's more of a like goal setting and stuff that I'm going to be doing in here but also any kind of home habits renovation and it's going to be kind of uh, a dirty no decorative messy writing planner so then you have notes and ramblings and those are the extra pages they give so there's a gift list a uh, grateful list monthly bucket list uh, bill tracker project plans and a couple extra pages for you to write in and then you have 2024 overview so I wanted that in here and then again a couple of the extra pages that I have to make sure that everything fits And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think. And I'll see you soon for another plan with me very, very soon. Thanks for joining and Merry Christmas. Bye.